All right, boys and girls, I am trapped in my truck. I've got bees pinging my vehicle. And this hive confuses me. When you open it up and you put your hand over it, that usually will show an uh, aggressive hive pretty fast. Uh, in this case, uh, they didn't get all runny. So this is a non-runny hive. Uh, they were actually rather still and calm, except one jumped up and stung my finger, and the others just didn't care. Um, as I got the hive agitated by removing a super, they got much more aggressive. The other camera right now is still being attacked. I can see it. Um, in fact, I, maybe you can see it too. I had to run in here and hide, basically. Let's focus a little. So there's bees that are just pinging off that black parts of that tripod and that hive. Uh, sorry, that, that hive's bees are just pinging off the black parts of my tripod and my camera. And that tells me that that's really an aggressive hive. I, I'd go ahead and say that's probably Africanized, the way they've come after me. I'm really curious though as to why they're not runny, which is unusual. So I will take this back over. So I'm trapped in my truck, and they're just not wanting to leave. They sent off an awful lot of bees after me, and they kind of covered my legs with about 30 or 40 each side, and they followed me into the bushes, and I saw one stinging the weather stripping inside my vehicle when I retreated in here. I had about four or five with me. As usual, to get bees off of you inside a car before you can lift your hood, you turn on your air conditioning and turn your fan on high, and for some weird reason, they want to get out. And so I rolled the windows down and they left. But I still have angry bees popping everything out there. Uh, the truck, I see them all over my truck. And this is not good. So that middle hive, I suspect, needs to go. That uh, queen has got to die. That's probably Africanized, and I will take a queen cell from queen cells from another hive to replace it. Do I want to get in there today and do that? I'm hot. I'm sweaty. It's six o'clock. Probably no. They're already agitated. Uh, when I get in there, I'm going to smoke a hell of a lot of bees and I'm going to break apart the hive in many fragments. So I'm going to take each super and put it a hundred feet, a hundred feet, a hundred feet and then go looking for the queen and then crush the queen and then put them all back and that's going to be a nasty job and then I'm going to get in there um, after about four or five days, uh, which is the bee math, they can't, they can't make new queen cells after four or five days. After four or five days I show up, I kill all the queen cells off, and then I give them a, f a sheet of cells from another hive. I want to be the donate hive. But this is ridiculous. They got aggressive really quick, and they need to go. Alright, the good news is they've stopped the assault on my camera, but they are, well, no they haven't. There's still two or three bees buzzing around it. 
They're still looking for a target. Yeah, these have got to be Africanized, or if they're not, they're showing Africanized signs, and I'm not going to put up with that crap. Beekeeping should be fun, and I should not have to hide in my vehicle. Which, by the way, whenever I do beekeeping, I always leave my keys in the car, and I always leave my doors unlocked. Because you want to, when you want to beat a fast retreat, let's say you drop a super, and bees are everywhere and they're mad as hell. Um, yeah, you want to be able to run, throw yourself in the car, close the door, and then meticulously get the bees that made it inside with you out, and then wait. In this case, a long time. I'll probably be in here for 20 more minutes. So, 